Hey guys, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. This is the one thing you all have been asking for for quite some time now. The 2024 X5 LCI has dropped, it is here, and I'm going to show you all about it right now. So what we're gonna do is do a quick walk around, show you everything you need to know. The X5, um, the how-to tutorials, everything you need to know about this is also on the uh, channel, or if it's not, it's going to be coming very, very soon. But what I wanna do is just kinda give a realistic breakdown of you know what the changes are, because a lot of this car is the same, but a lot of it also is different. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So the first thing is, as we do a quick walk around the vehicle, it's pretty obvious what this is. It's an X5. We, we see the size, we see the shape, we see kind of uh, the design of, you know, the surround, the windows, we see the wheels. All this stuff has carried over from the original G05 when it first launched in 2019. But things like this is a little bit different. So the ear breather in areas like that, that's a little bit different. You have wheels that are going to be a little bit larger that are standard, that's really nice. We have these slim, um, darkened LED lights in a new configuration with the daytime running lights. That's a nice welcome adjustment as well. Probably the biggest difference we're gonna see uh, for the front end is going to be, it's very bold, it's very aggressive. I know it's dirty, it just came off the truck, I apologize, but I'm very excited and wanna show you guys as soon as we get it. So, as so, so when we look at this, it's very squared off. You know, you can clearly, you know, see the angles there and how that is and how that kind of plays out. So that is different from uh, the previous model that we had. You can see that all of the driving assistance systems, that's kind of built in there because it does have iDrive 8. That's something to keep in mind as well. This vehicle is not the first, but one of the first to allow you to purchase services after the fact. So this is one of the new vehicles that we have that is coming to us with this hardware already built in, and you can activate it later if you want to. So keep in mind for that, uh, this particular one doesn't have the illuminated kidney grill, but it is available, and that is why you have that satin aluminum finish, because we kind of need that for the illumination to happen. So let's take a look at the side here. Again, we talked about those air breathers, larger wheels, standard, which is very, very nice. We don't like small wheels. Taking a look at the back, this nice uh, three-dimensional shape that we have for the tail lights. You have that X design for, since it's our iconic X model, you can got to see the BMW side marker there. High gloss black, very, very cool. I like it, it looks good. See, this is what I mean. It's similar, but it's different. Like, you definitely know it's an X5. There's no question about it being not an X5, but it's also different at the same time. A lot of the cues are taken from the X7, but also at the same time, a lot of the vehicle is also its own. So we're gonna look at the back here. There's really nothing that different in the back. In fact, everything back here is exactly as you know it to be. So I just wanted to show you the back, show you that, you know, they didn't change anything back here. There's still a lot of space. Um, under the floor, you still have all that space, everything you need, that's perfectly fine. Everything's good to go. So we're gonna take a look here inside. So we do have sensor fin. We are familiar with sensor fin from the 2023. So again, back seat, there's really no changes at all. So you're not missing much back there. Uh, if you never went back there because it's everything's the same really. So the upholstery, very nice from 2023 that got carried over. Uh, you know, that beautiful design there, uh, definitely very, very comfortable. And now we come into the part that's very different. So now we're going to see basically an X7. What they've done is a complete copy and paste of an X7 and they've brought it in here and they put X5 down there. Of course, you'll have X6 down there for the X6. For the M60s, it'll be an M. Uh, very important to understand because interestingly, people have actually asked this, is if you get an X5 or X550E or anything not an M60 and you get the M Sport package, 
does that little emblem over there turn to an M? And the answer is no. If you're getting an M product, you'll get the M graphic in there. And it is important to understand uh, these M60s now, and well, actually, even back with M50s, they are they are from BMW M. Uh, they have taken over the M performance products and internally, and they are the ones making them, and they are the ones doing all that stuff. So it is not a full-fledged M vehicle, no, but it is pretty close to it these days. And that is that is due to the fact that BMW M has taken it them under uh, their wing. So let's look at some other things. Taking a look over here, the design is very similar from the X7, if you're familiar with that. Uh, this is all from the X7. These controls, some of these controls are going to be similar from the iX, XM, things like that. We're going to have exterior light buttons there. We're going to press that. It's going to pop up right on the center. What we're going to do for exterior lights. We have some additional settings in there as well. One touch turn signal, daytime running lights, welcome and goodbye, all that fun stuff. All going to be right in there from quick access. Um, your auto lights shutting off. I'll just turn this on for a second so you can see. Right down here, BC, automatic high beam, all going to be right on the end there. Nothing too different there. Cruise control is going to be different because we have the driving assistance professional package. That's going to be more integrated into iDrive 8 uh, because iDrive 8 allows you to preset a distance ahead of time with some other variables so there's less physical controls on the steering wheel so keep that in mind that's a little bit different this is a little bit different this is no longer mode this is going to be the setup option for your display so you can see content you can see layout you can do all of that right through here if you want to switch to the next tracker playlist you can go right down here for that but we have been kind of living with that for a while now the 2023 x7 had it 2023 two series three series you know the new seven series that recently came out so most of the controls and most of how everything works in here is very very similar and just carried over from those models so even though it, this is all new and great for the x5 this is not like we've never seen this before which i think is good because the learning curve is a little uh less uh crazy as it as it could be but climate, all cleaned up, as you can see. iDrive 8 obviously has that. We can see that running at the bottom down there. Using those plus and minuses, that is what's going to be controlling the climate. It is intelligent climate. There are sensors everywhere. Use the intelligent personal assistant to tell it what it is you want to do, what the temperature is. Are you hot? Are you cold? Do you want the heated steering wheel on? voice and gesture and all this other good stuff in this car this is going to be your friend now and this is the one thing that we're kind of curious to see how this works with a lot of our x5 customers because this is the first time they've lost a lot of controls and they're really being pushed in that you know that digital space so we'll see how that works uh but it, it's worked so far with the x7 people seem to like it and uh everything is uh, very very modern and you know kind of minimal when it comes to the design down here, obvious thing there, shifter just cut off. You have this little fob brought over from the X7 with our other vehicles. The 7 Series definitely that has it. 3 Series has it. The 2024 4 Series will now have it. 2 Series has it. So if you haven't noticed the trend, we are clearly going in the direction of not having a shifter. Uh, we just have this little fob piece down there. New park button down there because the park used to be on the shifter, which is now gone. So this is what it looks like. I really don't have that much more. I'm sorry if I disappointed you. Because uh, this is pretty much similar to what we've had from our other vehicles. Uh, from my other videos out there with iDrive 8, that's what we have. In here, that's another good point I should bring up. A lot of people were questioning whether or not it was iDrive 8.5. It is not. It is 100% iDrive 8. Um, so uh, do keep that in mind for people who are 
trying to hold out for iDrive eight and a half or whatever that is. But um, you know, any any potential software updates, you know, that would be relayed by BMW of North America to you uh, via your My BMW account if um, an update would be available in the future. But we are operating with eight uh, in here right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, just kind of show you what's going on on the outside so you can see those um, daytime running lights. They are different. They are much, much more um, thin. And you can kind of see those two little, two little lines there uh, right below the headlight, which is uh, just visually uh, provides another sort of illumination just for aesthetics. It's really not giving you a lot, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna show you the turn signal because people have actually asked about that. So you can see, you know, everything is very digitized today. You can kind of see those pulses happening. You have the turn signal indicator, of course, right on your side mirror. We're gonna come back here and this is what it looks like in the back. So you have your reverse right in the corner and you have your lights they are going to be pulsing just like that. Pretty cool. I like it. I think they did a good job. I think there's enough of the X5 that we know and like still there, but it's also different enough to provide a nice refresh, which this vehicle has definitely been uh, looking for. But I just, as I keep going back and forth, what I really just can't get over is just how kind of squared off this is in the front. I'm not sure if the video is gonna do it justice, but in person, uh, it just looks much more aggressive, which I think the vehicle needed. Very interesting. I like it. So I hope you can come check it out. So if you have any questions about this, please check out your local BMW center to see whether or not you can um, catch a look at one of these. Cause I can tell you a lot of people have been ordering these. There wasn't any pre-order for them cause it's just, you know, a regular production vehicle. There's no need to really pre-order it. Um, but they are definitely, uh, the allocations are, are going fast for that. So if you have any interest in the 2024 X5, or even X6 for that matter, definitely come take a look if you are interested in that. Uh, they did a really, really good job with it. Again, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Check out the links below. There's a lot of links to the new X5. If you want to configure your own, learn more about it, uh, check out other tutorials of other vehicles from channels that I have. That's also linked right down below. Please make sure you subscribe so you can always stay up to date with our latest content. And as always, stay healthy and safe out there.